Bob lost 82 pounds in seven and a half months using the ketogenic lifestyle. Today I'm going to talk about my top 10 things that you can buy online to stay on the ketogenic lifestyle or start on the ketogenic lifestyle. You don't have to have all kinds of things to start or stay on it, but it's helpful to know that you can buy things off of Amazon to get yourself started. If you like what you see, can you please click the like and subscribe button? That way I can get out into the YouTube universe. Also, hit that bell so you get notified when I upload. I am going to try to upload every night and it's going to be either keto or autism on each night. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Here's my top 10 things that I like to get online. Okay, number one is my perfect keto bars. I love, my favorite flavor is the salted caramel. I absolutely love the salted caramel. So that's my number one. And the second favorite is the almond brownie butter. My second one is high key brownie bites. I love high key brownie bites. They are so yummy. And I don't know why that just slipped out of my tongue easily, but it just did. So that's my second favorite is high key brownie bites. My third favorite thing to buy online is pork rinds. And my favorite pork rinds are the epic pork rinds. They're low fat, but I didn't like the taste in, of any of the higher fat ones, but I love these epic pork rinds. And I have to hide it from people that are not on keto because they try to eat all my keto pork rinds. So that's number three, epic pork rinds. I absolutely love those. So my number four one is high key egg and cheddar cheese crisps. I think that's what they're called. Of the, those are so good. My favorite is the bacon flavor. They're so good. My fifth thing that I get online is Zip Fizz. It gives me a little zip and I only like the, um, what flavor do I like? I only like the orange flavor right now, but I haven't been able to test the other flavors, but I really like the Zip Fit. Number six is coffee. You can buy coffee online, people. Yes, you can. So I am going to recommend that you buy some coffee online so you can have your bulletproof coffee. Number seven is, drum roll, what is it? Slim Fast Fat Bombs, the peanut butter cup ones. Gluten-free, everything I eat is gluten-free now. I have gone gluten-free. I think I'm gluten intolerant. Oh, Duke Sausages, you can get Duke Sausages. That's number eight. They are really, really good. Uh, and they're very low in carbs and it's just a good snack to have. So Duke Sausages is number eight. Number nine is, let me think, cheese, moon cheese. I love moon cheese. My favorite was the pepper jack, but that's higher in carbs now. So I've gone on to the cheddar, but I love my moon cheese and you can get that online. And number 10, is drum roll please <laughs> no just kidding drum roll please um number 10 is chalk zero chocolate i need my chocolate i need my goodies and i love chalk zero so you can get that online i'm going to put all the link everything that i mentioned on here so that you can just click on them and order them online you're not going to have to go to the grocery store encounter craziness or get sick so if you want those, you can just click on my link and order them. But they're all yummy. They're all on keto. If I had to just live on those things, I would. I don't have to. But I'm just saying, if I had to just live on those things because of the pandemic, I would. I want to talk about a non-scale victory for me today. And that is that I'm wearing this jacket. I bought this jacket figuring that I would be able to zip it up eventually. And that just didn't come as quickly as I thought it would. It's been over two years and I finally can wear this jacket. That's a huge non-scale victory to be able to wear a jacket. I wore it, I didn't not wear it, but it was always unzipped because I could not zip it. Now I can zip it and I can fit another coat under it. So that's a really big deal for me. I have lost 82 pounds in seven and a half months and I feel great. And I need to remind myself to keep doing that even though I'm, I've been really stressed at times the last few days. It has not been easy. I'm down at the beach today and people just really are not taking this seriously. I see a lot of socializing and social interacting and a lot is coming out of Italy that doesn't look good. I like the better safe than sorry motto 
and I have spent enough time in hospitals between myself and my children that I know that even in the best of times, the hospital is not a fun place to be. So if, if the hospitals are clogged, I can't even fathom what that situation is because when we went to a hospital for Kira when she was a baby, they didn't have rooms then and we weren't having a pandemic. So I am thinking ahead. I'm thinking about people don't think they're gonna get sick or if they get sick, it's not gonna be that bad, but until they go to the hospital and they are sick and it is bad. I didn't buy in bulk. I just bought what I needed for a couple weeks because I know I'm gonna have to be, go out and get supplies, but I'm taking the most measures that I can as possible and I'm just urging other people to do that too. Now, what I wanna say is I've been struggling. Yesterday was a really hard day. I had to prep. I got two weeks worth of groceries so I don't have to leave the house. Just trying to get everything straightened away, making sure I had medications for my kids and just trying to figure out if we're gonna have school and we don't have school. It's canceled for two weeks now. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be canceled for way longer than two weeks. Trying to deal with that and figure that out has been hard. Okay, so I wanted to stress eat. I was like, forget it, who cares? And I, I all of a sudden, the old thought patterns came down with who cares, I'll just eat what I feel like and then I'll go back on keto. And I fought it, I fought it hard. I'm human and all humans fight bad habits. And that was me yesterday, but what I did instead is I overate on keto. I'm eating 2,500 calories, and that's what I did yesterday. I ate two lemon meringue pies yesterday, and they tasted wonderful, but I, I didn't get knocked out of ketosis, and I don't feel like junk today. So I'm so happy I did that. I'm back on track with my thoughts, because I have to retrain my brain and my thought process. My thought pattern is I'm not going to let a virus put me back where I was before. Miserable, overweight, not feeling good. But I did yesterday. It was a hard day, but I didn't overeat on non-keto foods. I overeat on keto foods and they were delicious. And that's the thing, you can get keto foods that are delicious. They are yummy and I, I didn't need to eat, but I did because I was stressed, I was stress eating. But I, I need to put that a stop to that today and that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to ruin all of the work that I've put into that. And that's why I'm putting this video out today. I'm letting you know that I struggled majorly yesterday. Major, 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 major struggles. It was a really hard day. Today has been better, especially with keto wise. I've had coffee, I made nachos. I had a perfect keto bar and I still have more calories, but I don't feel the need to overeat. And I'm going to work on that stress by walking instead of eating today. That's what you need to do when you have weight issues. You need to find with a different way to cope with your stress eating and that's what I'm doing. I am going to walk and walk that stress out. And, and what I'm stressed about right now is the fact that my kids are gonna I, they may be home for two months. My kids may be home for two months. I knew on Friday night that they were gonna be home for two weeks. I knew they were closing school today. I'm probably gonna be home with them for two months. I'm fine with it. I, I need to be prepared for that. I'm trying to think of things that we can do to stay active. And I wanna make sure that we stay healthy mentally and physically. And part of that is eating right. Got a bunch of junk for them. Probably not the best thing, but I just did. I wanted them to feel comfortable because they are gonna be home. I'm back on track today. I'm gonna walk. And while I'm walking, I'm gonna make sure I'm socially distancing myself. My thoughts are that it is way more right, widespread than people know. They're not testing people and that it's way more prevalent than people think. I just wanted to give you an update about what's going on in my life in regards to keto. I'm, I'm gonna do a video every other day of keto, every other day on autism. Keto, autism, keto, autism. If you just wanna hear about keto from me, today's keto, then tomorrow's gonna be autism, 
the next day is going to be keto. So I'm going to have a schedule and it's going to be every night that I upload. That's what I'm going to do. I love talking about keto with people and I love talking about autism and getting suggestions for that. And I have a whole another video I need to put together on that because my life is about to change in that area. If you like what you see, can you please click the like and subscribe button? That way I can get out into the YouTube universe. Also, hit that bell so you get notified when I upload. So please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that we can go on this journey together. Gorgeous outside. I'm going to hop out of the car, take a walk. I'm going to stay six feet away from other people. I'm not going to touch anything and I'm going to enjoy my walk and work out that stress. Thanks for watching and have a great day.